What's up guys and welcome to Affordable Ergon Reviews. Today we're going to talk about buying Ergons at Walmart, Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's. Stay tuned to hear about Alright guys, have you ever know and all my followers know I'm always trying to get the best price out of my arrogance. So for example, when I go buying arrogance at Walmart or Walmart.com, uh, I'm looking for the best price and a very competitive arrogance. Okay. So I want to share with you guys why you need to be careful buying at Walmart.com or Walmart. Okay. First thing happened to me on Walmart store was I went to Walmart to take a look on what they have new and I remember back then I used to have they used to have uh, the swarm the, the gamo swarm and I took it with me and then as soon as I walked to the register to pay something came up in my head like hey take a look make them open the box for you and check the gun because if you guys know some other Walmarts in the United States uh, some of them have the organ the cabinet i will say where you need to tell someone to open it and get it for you and some of them not some of them you can just pick it up from the aisle and take it and pay and that was one of those walmarts and so as they opened the box i talked to the manager and the lady and the on the front you know register first she said no i can do that for you and then the manager said yes i can do that for you let's open it and take a look so Right in front of the manager, we opened it and we took a look, and that was the last rifle. And as soon as we opened it, we find out somebody opened that rifle before and they cock it inside the store, which is something very dangerous. Somebody can see you with that rifle inside the store, and they can call the police on you, and you know what is going to happen next. But just imagine that rifle cocked for a long time. I know that rifle is not going to work. Uh, so two weeks three weeks one day it doesn't really matter one day 24 hours still too long for an air rifle being cocked so the spring is going to get weak or the piston whatever is inside the components are going to get weak and they're not going to work okay so i told them you know what i don't want the rifle that say thank you very much for your help and the second thing it happened to me it was on walmart.com when i bought the mendoza rm I can't remember exactly the name, but it's here on my list. When I ordered the Mendoza, I got the attention of this rifle because this rifle show on the video, on the, I'm sorry, in the picture, a very good looking rifle with, you know, wood stock, walnut, all of those stuff, you know, that you really said like, this rifle looks great. So let's try it. And I ordered a rifle and the rifle came home and soon they came home, that rifle was completely black. It was wood, because you can tell it was wood. Uh, it came with a little scratch on the bottom, and it was wooden stuck, just painted in black, which that looks, for me, it looks fine. For some other people, that looks awful. Some other people, they're, you know, happy with it. I'm not happy with a wooden stuck painted in black, okay? It's fine to practice around it's fine to hunt around or plinking but wood is wood and I think a walnut will look great or any kind of wood if you paint it right with you treat it with some kind of sealer or something it will look great but the natural color of the wood no black okay and I review the rifle the rifle uh, is here on the list but I return it I call them back hey, you know what I don't like it because you guys kind of promise on the website this is a woodstock brown and it's not it's not what I get so I returned it with no problems the rifle went back and I got my money back and it's fine to me okay so that's the first on walmart.com and please read and make a lot of questions when you go to buy an area on Walmart. Some of these places, some of these Walmarts have uh, final notice or final final sale. 
notice. And, and by that area where you get the air gun. And make sure you make question, make sure to somebody open that air gun in front of you and take a look at it. Take a look at it, okay? If you think it's open and somebody opened it before, please don't take it. Don't waste your money because I know how hard it is to save that money to get an air gun or the air gun that you really been wanted for time, you know, and a time. So now let's go with Cabela's and Bass Pro Shop. I'm going to put them together because now they're sharing a lot of stuff and it's probably the same owner had that big feeling people saying they have the same owner you go to the store and some of those guys told you know we're not the same we're just sharing a credit card or whatever but okay so let's start with them it happened to me before i have a situation when i got my gamo urban from them i was working far away from home when i get this rifle so I got the rifle, take it to the range, and I was trying to sight it in by the 30 or 35 shots. I was cocking the rifle. Soon as I cocked the rifle, I noticed something. The rifle bolt came loose and it was going back and forward with no effort at all. So I noticed, I said right away, you know what? This air gun is broken. I'm going to take it back to the store. So I took it back to the store and I explained them what happened and they told me I can get the rifle back and give you your money. So I said, you know what, I want the same rifle. So they told me, okay, keep it with you and come back in three or four weeks. I said, you know what, I'm not going to do that because I'll be working here for another week, week and a half, two weeks. Okay. So I went home with the rifle. I travel a lot of time to get home. Soon that I get home after those two weeks, which at the end was two weeks, and went to the store, which is near me, and I explained them what happened, because I know they have another rifle on stock. It shows on the website. And the guy told me, I'm so sorry. I can do anything for you. I cannot help you. I was like, hold on, I was in this place, far away from home, they told me that I can took it over here, and you guys are going to replace it, or you guys are going to do something, and then he said, no, we cannot help you, I say, okay, at this time, I don't want a rifle back, I want just my money, so he told me straight like this, I cannot give you the money back, because I'm not be able to do it. I said, what is the reason why? I said, well, the state doesn't let me take air guns back. So I understand that point, and it can be a mistake from the other side, of the other Bass Pro Shop, and this Bass Pro Shop misunderstandings, or he probably, the guy on the other Bass Pro Shop never told me about that. I know I gotta be aware of those things, and that's the reason why this video, guys. Okay, so make sure when you're buying an air gun, out of your state or in your state make sure you go and ask them hey can I return this rifle here if something happened and make all the questions about okay because if you're gonna chip those rifle to the manufacturer or the per person whoever made this rifle it's gonna cost you a lot a lot of money trust me okay it's gonna cost you a lot of money and you're risking your money just like that because you never know what's gonna happen if you put something wrong on the address you know that's not gonna end up you know in the right spot and the right spot or the right place and you're gonna lose your money somebody else is gonna take that rifle and it's gonna be gone completely so please make sure you make all those questions right before you buy a rifle so what happened at the end with my gamo urban and they told me hey you know what go across the river which is Missouri, St. Louis, go to St. Louis and they can refund you and they or they can replace it if they have another one. And what I did this time, I said, you know what, I'm going to call them. I called them, I talked to the manager through the phone and soon that I talked to the manager, the manager said, tell me, hey, bring it over, I will put your name on the notes and we're going to help you. So they helped me, I went over there, they helped me and that was great for me because that's the guy I'm that I have right now, okay? But 
guys this is kind of advice for you guys and hope this video helped you in something make sure to make all the questions that is possible if you can not carry that gun in your hands for some reason right before you walk on the store please avoid to buy them okay uh, another idea that I can tell you is this for example I like let's say a Benjamin a Benjamin rifle I know Best for sure have them on the store but what I like to do is this it's so simple I choose the rifle I go to the Bass Pro shop take a look on the rifle and hold it they, they can help me and I hold it in my hand I take a look at the rifle and then check online to see prices if I feel comfortable with the rifle in my hand you know how it feels how it weighs whatever they're not gonna let you shoot it they're not gonna let you try it but at least how you like it and look a lot of videos look for reviews on that rifle okay if that can help you and right after that check online to buy those rifles the rifle or the rifle that you want just please think about before you spend your money okay and guys if you guys have any questions please let me know I'm here to help you I'm not just a reviewer I, I'm like your brother you know make me questions you guys know I try to reply to everybody soon as possible after you guys reply most of the time when I upload a video I spend probably four or five hours right near to my phone to answer all those those questions okay so guys Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this video helped you and see you in the next one.